Welcome to the Daily Game with your host, Guy Smiley. Today's guests are all from the Hepatitis family too. They don't have the same daddy, but they share many other things. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to The Dating Game, a game show where every week we take three lovely bachelorettes and give them the opportunity to go out with our very special and extremely handsome and almost too eligible bachelor. Let's go ahead this afternoon and meet our three bachelorettes. Bachelorette number one. She likes scuba diving, reading books, and romantic walks in the park. She's not the most popular member of the Hepatitis family. She only makes about 60,000 new friends every year. Let's say hello to Betty. Hi, Betty. That's bachelorette number two. Our lovely bachelorette, bachelorette, enjoys modeling. She's a world traveler, but nonetheless, parties with over 4.1 million Americans every year. She likes pina coladas and getting caught in the rain. Let's say hello to Caroline. And as bachelorette number three, we have Dana. It's Donna. So let's go ahead and let's meet our eligible bachelor today. At 25 years old, he is very handsome, currently unemployed, lives with his mother. Let's say hello to Chet Miller. Hey. Good afternoon, Chet Miller. Good afternoon, Welcome Mr. to Smiley. the show. Welcome to the show. Please back it up. Ah. Thank you. You're not supposed to see over here. Well, we have got three bachelorettes, lovely bachelorettes, for you to choose from today. I can't say that word too good. Let's, uh, do, you have, do you have any questions? Don't think so. All right, you'll have the opportunity to ask several questions of our bachelorettes, after which you will choose just one. One bachelorette in which we will send you on an all-expense-paid date. So let's go ahead and get started. Wonderful. All righty. He is a catch. Yeah. Oh, boy. Okay, bachelor, why don't you go ahead and ask your first question. All right. Well, uh, ladies, I'm not going to lie to you. Just being candid, I am... Quite the catch. It's true. He's a catch. Man. So, uh, bachelor number one. <laughs> Calm down. Calm. What are you looking for in a guy? Well, Chet, I like a guy between the ages of 20 and 49 who's ready for a wild and crazy time. Well. Um, if he's a health care provider, that'd work too. Good. That sounds good. like Chet. Mm -hmm. that, sounds like Chet. That's, that sounds good. Uh, bachelor number two, same question. <laughs> Keeping in mind, I am quite a catch. But, uh, what is it that you're looking for in a guy? Well, I'm into those dirty boys, if you know what I mean. The ones that um, share the needle, and also when he shares his toothbrush and his razor with other men. I'm not into promiscuous guys like Betty. You know how she is. I'm more into the ones with the tattoos down the left arm, five letters. Mm, gets me going. Do you have a tattoo, Chet? I. Uh, bachelor number three. Oh, right. Mm. Ah, same question for you. What uh, What is it that... You're looking for in a guy. Well, I won't go anywhere without my cousin Betty, so I guess whatever's good for her is good enough for me, too. Very good. Did they answer your question, Chet? Boy, it sure did. Good. Well, let's go ahead and ask another question. Very good. Bachelorette number one, if I were to choose you, how would you make our date unforgettable? Well, I'm not like those other RNA viruses. I have my own DNA. One date with me, and you'll never forget what it's like to be with a classy girl with her original DNA. Who needs DNA? Shh. Right. You. Mm. All right. Bachelor number two, uh, same question, please. How would you make our date unforgettable? Well, let me tell you, I take it slow. I don't make any moves until six weeks, and if you're one of those lucky ones, I turn your skin yellow, I cause your stomach to churn like butter, and if we make it long term, I'll drive you crazy, make you vomit blood, and blow you up like a f puffer fish, boy. How does that make you feel, Chet? That's, that's uh, pretty I'm exciting. I'm more comfortable, I'm not going to lie to you. <laughs> <laughs> but go ahead. Puffer fish, what a deal. Yeah. Okay. That, that's great. Bachelorette number three. People confuse me all the time with Gary Coleman. People confuse you with? Well, people confuse me with my cousin Betty all the time. Plus, thanks to the hot fever I'll give you, you might mistake me as influenza, that floozy. <laughs> I've met influenza before. <laughs> Sorry. Bad joke, Jess. Bad joke. I apologize. Uh, bachelor number one, please. Uh, who, uh, who do you get confused with? Uh, Which one? 
Sometimes people confuse me with that dirty, sleazy, drug doing hillbilly. Pepsi. Oh no. <laughs> Okay, okay, next, let's, let's just go on to another question, Jack. Right? Okay. I'm right here. Ah. Now, bachelorette number two. What do you find as a turnoff? Well, Chet, if you don't like fried chicken, you don't like fried okra, and a little bit of beer thrown in, then you are out. And there you have it. There, there you have it, Chet. And, oh, oh let me I also hate... Peglation, interfering, and ribe of your Here, give me that. All right, Chad, let, let's go on to the next question. Okay. Um, if, if we could just ask uh, bachelor number one and, and then number three the same question. Uh, Turn offs, please. And, and, and I'll hold the microphone. All right. I'll hold okay. the microphone. Well, Chet, I would say my biggest turnoff, the Hep B vaccination. Seriously, it's totally overrated. Also, are condoms really necessary? No, they aren't. Nope, nope, nope. Oh my, Chet. Yeah. You know, how will you choose? Huh. Back to right number three, is that right? Ah, uh, yes. Okay. Same question, okay. please. Well, with me, it's a two for one deal. If you don't like Betty, you can't have me. Oh, oh my. Oh, that's a two for one. Oh. Oh, okay. Uh, sorry. Ah, uh, <laughs> next question. Uh, bachelor number one, if I were to take you out on a date, what would you wear? This is an easy one. I would wear my favorite Dane particle outfit, complete with my circular double-stranded DNA with the per associated protein enzymes, a casahedral capsid, and to top it all off, I'd wear my envelope, you know, to keep me safe from drying. Woo, mama! How you doing over there, Chet? Huh. I I'm a real sucker for a glass of <laughs> well, Can I get a glass of water, please? <laughs> Certainly. <laughs> Certainly. Why don't we take this opportunity to take a quick uh, commercial break to visit from our sponsors? <laughs> Welcome back. I think we're doing all right. You doing all right, Chet? I'm, I'm better now, thank you. Okay, okay. You got some more questions. You, we've got just a couple of minutes uh, before you need to make your big decision. Would you like to go ahead and ask some more questions? I would. Perfect. I'll go over here. Every Wednesday night, just before bingo, my mama fixes me liver and onions. Bachelor number that one. Smell familiar. Uh -huh. Bachelor number one, how would you fix my liver? Ooh. Uh, first of all, Chet, I think that's totally groovy that your mom makes you liver and onions. My mom did too, and now I have her famous recipe. It starts by causing chronic liver disease, cirrhosis, and hepatic failure. And then, if you're really lucky, you might get a taste of hepatocellular carcinoma. Oh. Well, <sighs> like more water, uh, Chet. I, I might. That's, uh, that's, that's some spicy stuff. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Bachelor number two, if, uh, if I were to follow you into the bathroom, how would I know which stall you were in? Hey, Chet. Yes? Why? <laughs> no, just go ahead. All right, go ahead. <laughs> it's easy, it's easy. Oh, wow. Well, first of all, it would stink. But supposing I didn't flush, which, let me tell you, I usually don't. I hope that's not a problem. You would find clay-colored stool and dark-colored pee. You wouldn't miss it. You wouldn't miss it. Hey, now, you're an all-star. Get your game on. Oh, sweet nibblings! You had that coming, Chet. You had that coming. <laughs> 